I am so jacked up today. I've got a fantastic lake house for you guys today. Now, we don't get lake houses very often, and we don't get lake houses that are real easy to get to in the lake. Our lake here has palisades, sometimes 100, 150 feet, just sheer rock. So it's kind of a challenge to get to the lake. Well, if you get a house that's close to the lake, then it's amazing. And this one's got easy access, very low slope to get to the lake. Do you need to put in some steps? Yes. Do you need to put in an elevator or a, one of those incline cars? No. You've got a gorgeous spot here. And this house is part of this subdivision here and it has its own private marina. Now, I don't know how much it costs to use that marina, but it's got a private marina and I'll show you a picture of it right here. I'll find out how much it is and I'll put it right here. There's no HOA, but there is marina fees or something like that. I'll put that here too. This is a deal and a half. And I mean, seriously, this is the private marina. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous and it's impeccably maintained. Look at this. So here's the deal according to the neighbor. To just drop a boat in is no charge. If you're a guest, it's no problem. If you want a boat slip, it's like about $1,000 a year. So was that 75? He said just under 1,000, $75 a month, something like that. Way cheaper than anything you can get anywhere else. And it is beautiful. Look at this. I wanted to share this with you because I talked about it and wanted you to see it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. You'll get a notification on your phone every time I upload a new video. You know, Jeremy sends me out here because he's just sitting in the air conditioning. He sends me out. I got to do all the work. And then I got to figure out all these things to ask him so I can tell you. I don't want you shooting in the dark. I want you to be educated. Know exactly what's going on. Anyway, 4,000 square foot house, five bedrooms, three and a half baths. We counted it up. You could easily sleep 15. You could do, you got room. You could do for another couple beds. I'm going to show you the whole thing. But first, first I got you coming down here. You got a nice concrete drive, which is nice. And you turn here, you go around the back of the house, and there's a boat garage. So that's cool. If you got a boat, that's going to be like a Jones and thing for you. And then you come on down here, and we've got the concrete, and it goes right to the lake. And there's a nice little baby buggy bumper stopper there, too, which is good. Otherwise, you might make daddy a diaper if you thought you were going to go all the way down in the lake. I guess I shouldn't say that. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? You're right on the lake. They're doing construction stuff here and everything. It's kind of cool. I'll show it to you once we get on the deck. You'll find it interesting. You've got access to the house here and a double bay garage. These people trusted in us to list their house and get it sold. So I want to make sure I get all the information that you need so you can make an educated and informed decision. Hardwood floors throughout. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Now, this is truly in the style of, what is that, Chip and Joanne or something like that, right? Those, uh, those people who do such a beautiful job of decorating. That's exactly what we got here. Open floor plan, you know, all that nice architectural stuff that you want. But a lake house, you know, a lot of these lake houses are just like little cottages and bungalows and little tiny dinky things. This is laundry here. So you can put a stack unit or maybe a side-by-side, -side, I don't know. And then you've got half bath here. Check this out. This is one of my favorite things. These are old warehouse doors. And they have these really cool hardware on them. And they got another one over here that covers the pantry. This one is like five feet wide. Isn't that cool? And it's lit inside. And that's a deep pantry, as you can see. So these little bungalows and little cottages and everything, this is not like that. This is open. It feels like an architect design it, and maybe they did. I don't know. But it's definitely a designer house and something that you'd be proud to show off, proud to have guests, proud to have family, not something you have to make excuses for. Oh, sorry, it's just a little bungalow, a little lake house. No, 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 no. This is a prime, prime lake house. So you got a corporation, you got a company. How about this for your corporate retreats and your corporate meetings and things like that? Is it deductible? Of course it is. You know that. You were thinking it before I even said it. 
stainless appliances. This, now I said granite. This is not granite. This is some kind of marble or something, I guess. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know enough about it. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but it's beautiful. This is butcher block and it's a, it's double size. So you got plenty of room. So there's a bay window there. What's the difference between a bay window and a bow window? I don't know. This is one of these. And there's the deck. There's the hot tub. And I don't know if the hot tub conveys. That's something you need to talk to Jeremy about. So you can have a fire pit down there. You can put steps down there. You know, you could put your own little sign, you know, welcome to the lake house or whatever. So when people boat up and they jump off. Plenty of fish in Lake Harrington too. The open floor plan is the only way to go if you entertain. Agreed? Gas fireplace. We're here, let's just run out real quick. They are building something very interesting over there. So there's a power plant nearby. And then this is all, what you see looks like a lake over there, are solar panels. Very cool. So you want green energy, there you go, they're making it. They're what they call a, a four fuel thing or whatever. They've got coal with the new scrubber plant and it's got all the new EPA stuff and then they run gas and then they also run solar, which I think is kind of cool. And hydroelectric, I guess, water, right? So multi-level decks, and you see with the aerials, you're right here on the water and there's a, what they call it, a confluence where another part of the lake comes in. So, very beautiful. Now the marina is just down this away a little bit, I don't know, a mile, something like that. So you keep your boat down there. I'm gonna tell you all about that. Oh, and it's got this, uh, this wire stuff here, the baluster, isn't that cool? You can't even see through, I mean, you can see through it, you can't even see it when you're looking through it. And you know, that's kind of cool out there. You know, they're building stuff, so that's not gonna be there all the time, but the solar panels are there. You know, it's interesting. Um, if it was in Seattle, you'd be like, oh wow, it's like a fisher boat or whatever. I think it's interesting, just like boats going by, there's something going on all the time. Isn't the lake pretty? Lake Harrington, 32 miles long, 2,850 acres, I believe, of water. I've never met these folks, but don't they have great taste? Really? This is beautiful. And it's all new, I guess. Jeremy can tell you all about it, but just really nice things. Everything's nice. Gorgeous. I could move right in. So you got two beds, right? Two twins. That's cool. So there's two people. I'm gonna mess up and miscount, you know that. There's a third person. The master suite. Isn't that beautiful? You have a closet there, and this is huge. Really, this this master bedroom is huge. There's two more, so that's what, five? The hopper. Look at that. It's really beautiful, though. I mean, talk about your own sanctuary. I kid around all the time about that stuff. But jet tub, throw a glass of wine here, sleep in, uh-huh. Yeah, you can do that. You're allowed, I promise. They will let you. You gotta make the time for yourself, that's the key. Do we do that? I don't do it very well. Nope, I don't. All right, so upstairs, let's run downstairs real quick. And you got another bed there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You put, you put some kids in there or whatever. That goes out to the boat storage. Just a garage. But it's extra long so you can put your boat. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's only like a three-quarter or a double. You probably need to put a queen in there. So that's eight people. Plenty of room. This goes right on out.
another de level of deck. Now what you can do is you can put metal up there and make this more waterproof here. So if it was raining, that metal gutters out out there. I can show you what one of those looks like. I'll put it in here. And it's really simple to do. And then you've got living space out here when it's raining. Now, this is not Seattle, but you do get some rain. And wouldn't that be nice to be covered? I mean, it's covered anyway. Might as well throw some metal up there and gutter the water out. Now you can throw another bed here, another bed there. You certainly have enough room for 15 to sleep. You could throw a bed here, right? So you put a king here, that's two more people, and still have a rec room. Or put the ping pong table out there underneath the metal, right? Like I was talking about that gutter metal. And then you can put another two or three beds down here. You could have a load of folks. Look at these guys. These are 24 by 24 inch tiles. That is hard to do. Let me tell you, you have to have a really, 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 really level floor to put those rascals in. You can imagine, otherwise they would twink on you. They'd be Twinkies. Another bed. That's a queen, I guess. You got two more in there. Closet. I mean, this house is decked out. Let me take, tell you over here. Let me show you real quick. So, this is not subterranean is it no i don't think so it might be a foot back here but not, certainly not up here but you've got a gas line here for a stove you got a sink and you got outlets for a refrigerator so you have a little kitchenette down here one heck of an entertaining wet bar that's what i would do with it but you know me i eat too much i drink too much it's bad when you know me that well right and we got a lot of subscribers if you haven't subscribed subscribe do so right here just click on that little button and I'll send you funny videos all the time. I'm as funny as I can be. That's all I can tell you. I tell really bad dad jokes. If you don't believe me, just ask my kids. It looks to me like that is speaker wire. So we can find out. But look at this deck. I mean, if you were here, you'd be decked out. No, it's not a silly joke. Seriously, <laughs> it's a big ass deck. Can you say that? I guess I shouldn't. Here, let's look at the property real quick, and then we're going to wrap it up. So, nice, nice slow slope. You know, if you're 65 and 400 pounds, it's going to take you a while to get down there. But if you're 15 or, or 20 or 6 or 36 or fit, <laughs> ah, that's the key. You're going to just buzz right on down there. Heck, even I could do that. Do you love it? If you love this house, give Jeremy a call. Phone number's right there. He will hook you up. And he's so nice. If you bought this lake house, he would actually let you invite him so that he could drink beer with you. He's so nice. He's really not that nice. He just wants to mess up your house and eat all your food and drink all your beer. That's what he does at my house. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you won't need a finer guy. Give him a call. He's a likable guy. He'll tell you what he's got going on. He'll tell you what's available, and he can show you this property. Stay tuned for more. Let me tell you why. We got five new listings this week, and he's making me do a video for every one of them. So I'm going to be showing you all kinds of neat stuff. We got an architect's house. We got a hunting camp. We've got this lake house. We got another house that's in, just in a subdivision. We got a farm. Can't wait to show it all to you. See why I'm jacked? I love this place. Call Jeremy and say, hey, take me out to Hunter Drive. That's what this house is. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Oh, hold on. There's the garage. Sweet. Ciao. You got mirrors in here. You got one of those showers that's wide open. A little kinky. I like it. But look at this deck. I mean, if you were here, you'd be decked out. No, it's not a silly joke. Seriously, <laughs> it's a big ass deck. Can you say that? I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.